Good morning, America. Hey, welcome to Dave Fritz TV. Guys, I'm really excited today because this is a first in Dave Fritz TV. We have our very first interview today, and I'm really excited. I'm very excited to introduce a very strong Christian businesswoman. And yes, I said businesswoman. This is for all of you entrepreneurs out there who happen to be women and men. But I'm introducing today Kathy Fischel. She's a good friend and client of mine, and she's with One Time Stain Company. It's one of the top companies in America for the best stain for your decks, your homes, log cabins, what have you. Um, Kathy's been in the business for quite some time with her husband Scott and her son Connor, and they are doing a wonderful job, guys. This stain is just unbelievable. Um, I know I'm very excited representing them, and uh, it's been such a great road, Kathy. We've yeah. been having a great time. But Kathy would like to share some things with you this morning, and the first thing Kathy would like to share with you right now is her vision as a Christian businesswoman and why she has this passion for the one-time stain. What do you think, Kathy? So we have uh, actually we've been making, uh, producing one time now for 20 years. We've been manufacturing wow. it and distributing it now for, we've had the patents for 20 years. We um, have been distributing now for about 17 years. And, you know, when you go into a business like this, like someone asked me, when you were a nine-year-old little girl playing with your dolls, did you think you'd be selling a wood product? <laughs> and no, I, of course not, I didn't. But I do believe that God handed it over to us. Mm -hmm. We did not invent it. It was invented by a chemist, but God placed it in our hands. And I think that's because he can trust us yes. with it. Um, so one of the biggest things that I started thinking about was our world today and how much wood we use. And when you think about it, you know, we have so much in this country today, actually throughout the world. And, and when you think about wood, wood is used in virtually everything that we do. Right. Building materials, I mean, our furniture, um, uh, our homes, you know, log home builders out there who use our product, fences, decks, there's so many things. And then you step back and you go, okay, so all that wood, where does it come from? Who does that for us? Yeah, and no I, one ever really thinks about that's it. That's right. And, you know, because we do take advantage of things in this world. Not me, Jeff, and I do my, myself. But we have an industry out there where we have loggers. And loggers are the guys that are out there every day working and building this business for all of us to use in, in builders and decks. And, and we all forget about that. We forget about what's always behind something. Right. And so when I really started investigating about loggers and I realized that they are the number one uh, in, throughout the world, the biggest industry with the highest fatality rates. Right. Wow. Yeah. And so then the second one is commercial fishermen. Mm -hmm. So think about that fish when, you know, when you're eating that fish, that's people are risking their lives yeah. so that we can have wood for um, everything that we need today. So that was one thing I thought because I thought, wow, we don't really think about, you know, where does it all begin? Mm -hmm. Then I even got into the trees. It takes a northern redwood tree 25 years before it gets an acorn. And that wow. tree will live for a, but maybe 200 years if it's not cut down because that's a very high commercial used wood. It's used in uh, like roll, uh, railroad ties mm -hmm. and flooring and things like that. Then you have a white oak. A white oak doesn't produce acorns for 200 years. Wow, I bet and, you never knew that. Yeah, and that tree can live to be 600 years old and that's mm -hmm. another really high wood that we use in our industries. So when we have, when God blesses us with these beautiful trees, and there isn't a shortage of trees, I'll tell you that, because I know we have a lot of people that think there is, but there is not. Well, yeah, there's actually more trees now, believe it or not, guys, yes. than there were in the eight, late 1800s. Yeah. I had to right. look that up because I found that unbelievable, yeah. and that is a real fact. Yeah, so we have more trees now than we ever have. That's so. right. So our loggers will always exactly. be in business, and so yeah. we could always be in business, too. So when I start to think about all those facts, and those are a lot of facts, and there's even more, I won't get into them, then I think, what are we doing to protect our wood? And so there's a lot of different wood protectors out there today. Mm -hmm. And um, I will say that one, there is nothing like one time. One time is a standalone product. Absolutely. It's a premium product. And how we started with one time, we first started as just a plain old wood protector. Our clear, you put it on your wood, the natural UVs of the sun cure it into the wood. It actually penetrates into the wood. The sun cures it. It's in that wood for seven years. It will totally stop moisture from getting in. The UV degradation doesn't happen. But 
did you have a question? Well, yeah, you were basically really concerned. You know, when Kathy started thinking about the whole lumberjack story, what she was thinking about is that how she said everybody's putting their life at risk. And so that's why Kathy was very concerned about a good stain that lasts a long yes. time because these guys are giving their lives. You don't hear about it every day, right. but people are getting killed, you know, right. in the lumber industry. It's, it's true. And so then what we want to do is if we're going to build a deck or if we're going to build a log home, you know, a lot of times people have the, oh, well, you know, I don't need to do anything to it. Well, let me tell you, you do, because mm -hmm. that, that, those outside elements will deteriorate your wood so fast. And so what one time does, it actually, like I said, it keeps the preservation of the wood. We give it a seven-year warranty. Mm -hmm. And that, and I don't know it goes beyond that. But, um, but anyhow, we started selling it as a clear, but people want color. Right. Yeah. Because as even though the, it protects the wood from degradation and um, de degradation, I'm not I'm saying that word incorrectly. Um, the wood still would gray out, and uh -huh. people want to see color. So what we would do is add color. So we use transoxide pigments. They're the mm. top quality pigments out there, and we uh, put those into the formula. And so we offer six colors to people. Okay, what would you say is your most successful color? Is there something out there that you see that everybody's choosing over another? Yeah, or? we have, um, I would say we have done studies on that, and our, probably our number one seller is our clove brown, and it's just kind of a really pretty brown. Our, it's a matted finish. There's no mm -hmm. shine to it because it never chips, flakes, or peels. Mm -hmm. If you see shine, you don't want shine because you're going to end up having uh, chipping, flaking, or peeling. One time never does that. Almost hmm. everything else out there does that. They wear away, mm -hmm. they chip, they flake, they peel, they have overlap marks, mm -hmm. run marks, drip marks, and contractors, you know what I'm talking about. One time has none of that. You don't have any of that with, with one time. Okay, Kathy, if I were to ask you, you know, like some of the people are probably wondering in our audience, why one time? Mm -hmm. What makes one time different from all the other competitors? Yeah. I mean, can you tell us a little bit about that? So, sure. One time is 100% solids. Now, this is a, a kind of a, a concept that people aren't going to grasp, but we tell people it's 100% solids in a liquid form. Mm -hmm. So you have solids that are, they're not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. Most products out there have waxes, they have silicone, there's um, mineral spirits, there's evaporants. One time has none of that. Water, wow. we don't have water. It's 100% solid. When you put it on mm. your wood, it literally penetrates the wood. It is not a surface coating. So you're getting more for your money just from that just one from fact that, alone. Yes, because okay. whatever you're putting on the wood is going in. A lot of the other products out there, they dissipate it. Yeah. As you're rolling them out, those evaporants are going away into the air, mm. which is not good for our... our, our uh, so it's our very air. environmentally friendly. It is. That's great, guys, just to know that fact. And it has a UV blocker in it, so what wow. I tell people is when you are going to be using it, you have to cover your plant life because you don't mm -hmm. want to get it on your plant life because it will block the UV rays. Yeah. But that's great for your wood because the UV rays is what starts to break it down. So one time prevents that. I mean, it's just an, it's an amazing product, and I say that not because it's ours. I didn't invent it, but I have, I mean, I, like I said, I never thought I would be selling a wood product, but because I see what mm -hmm. it does and how it holds the integrity of the wood, it amazes me. It's like no other. I mean, there's it, it no is like doubt. The, there is. Mm -hmm. And you know what, Kathy, one of the things that um, I thought was really unique about One Time is that you offer a guarantee mm -hmm. that no one offers, guys. Right. It's a seven-year guarantee. Can you tell us really quick about the sure. guarantee that it's a, you it's offer? A, it's a uh, guarantee that tells the wood is not going to... Um, deteriorate because mm. it, it it does stop it from deteriorating so we know that now we don't warrant our colors because the colors have a little larger molecule than the actual one time so even though we we mix it together very well as the one time penetrates into the wood the color doesn't go as far down mm -hmm. because the molecules are too good getting in the cellular But the protection the is 100%. 100%. The protection it. is 100%. And our colors are, are even fantastic, even better than anything else out there because once they begin to fade, they fade uniformly. You'll mm -hmm. never have a wear mark. You know, like a lot, of, a lot of the other products have wear marks. Or you'll look and you'll see there's nothing over there and there's a little color over here. And then when there's no color over there, that wood is totally exposed to the to the elements with one time it just kind of fades you hmm. formally and you would we would tell people they want to probably recoat visually just for visual yeah. you don't need it for protection maybe anywhere between four to six years right. in that seven year period and you know guys one of the things I want to tell you too about one time it's for everybody yeah. okay if you have a big deck a huge log cabin, whatever you may be doing, we have five gallon sizes, one gallon sizes, quart sizes. We're here to meet your need, guys, whatever you may need. Yes. 
Now, Kathy, why don't you explain the mission of One Time really briefly? What do you think about, you know, what is the mission of you as a Christian, you know, businesswoman yeah. and in relation to One Time? Well, so what I'd say is one of my, it's always been who I am. Even as a little child, I've always valued people. I look at people as, as not just throwaways. They're, I, mm -hmm. I value them. I value their time and what they can offer and what I can offer them. And so when I would hear the, the, I mean, we hear pain from customers out there, what mm. they've gone through with other wood stains and wood products, and I don't want our customers going through that. I want them to have the best value mm -hmm. where they're not out there every year or every other year stripping their deck mm -hmm. and redoing it. No, our time is valuable. Put one time on, you've got seven years to go, mm. and you you have more time to enjoy your wood product, it, whether it's a home, it's a deck, a dock, I mean, fences, I've got a beautiful yeah. fence I put up four years ago. I designed the fence. Well, mm. I shouldn't say I designed it. I found it, and I and I had the, the guys actually build it the way I wanted. I love my fence. I get so many compliments on it. I don't want that thing breaking down. Yeah. I, you know? So. You know, Kathy, one of the things we've been talking here at Dave Fritz TV over the past month there's a lot of people out there that just think they can't do it. They, they think that, you know, they're ready to give up as a Christian businesswoman, as mm -hmm. a businesswoman, businessman, mm. whatever they're out there trying to do. Now, could you just kind of relate really quickly that, you know, your company as well has been through ups and downs just like everyone else yeah. and, and how you've been able to keep going? Well, yeah, we have, and it's been a long haul. It's been, and I, you know, I always tell my husband, I'm going to write a book someday, what we've gone through, mm -hmm. because it has been a long journey. But when you know you have something special. That's good. Yeah, I like that. You can't give up. And, mm -hmm. you know, and I really believe that God gives me the inspiration to keep going and let alone meeting Dave. I mean, as that was just totally God. I mean, placed Dave right in our path. And what a what a great value it's been to have Dave as our Thank coach. You. I mean, really. So you can't give up when you know you've got something really good. And that's it. It's the knowing. You have to know mm -hmm. that you have something that's going to make people's lives better better. If that's the key, nothing can stop you. You can. We're going to have ups and downs, but nothing can stop you if you know what you have is right and true and pure. That's good, guys. Mm -hmm. Kathy, if I asked you right now, what has been an instrumental piece of helping one time get to where it is today, a national stain company, mm -hmm. you know, recognized everywhere? How, how, did, how did, it, did you get to go in this position? How did it happen? Well, so actually my husband has a roofing business and the inventor of this product um, was working for a company that asked my husband to try it on some wood shake roofs. Mm -hmm. And that is now over 20 years ago. And when my husband saw this, because that's what he was out there doing, he was treating wood shake roofs up in some shaker heights and mm -hmm. gates mills, those really beautiful areas that have those beautiful old wood mm -hmm. shake roofs. And he'd go out there and he'd be using a product and he'd be there every two years using this product on, the, on these roofs. Well, this company wasn't on the market yet, but they said, hey, give this a try. Tell us what you think. So Scott, that's my husband's name, he went out there and put it on a, a beautiful wood shake roof. And he said, what is this stuff? Hmm. I, I gotta have it. So he became involved with the inventor and the original uh, company, and then with the story that maybe someday I'll write a book, <laughs> um, we can unfold how he we ended up with the manufacturing distribution rights, and we own the patents also. Okay, and I know you told me too, Kathy, that uh, one of the things that was very instrumental in, in your company is your faith. Mm -hmm. um, can you tell us how God plays a role in that and maybe you know just what a faith-based business is all about? Yeah. Why are we different from say everyone else out there? Well so everybody likes to make money. And I'm, mm -hmm. you know, we all want to make money. We're in, we all got to you know, survive in, guys. We all have to survive but our goal isn't money. Mm -hmm. Our goal is to make sure that our customers are satisfied. Now, if I could stop you one yeah. minute there. Guys, that's one thing we've been talking about, that money is not our God. I think Kathy will agree to that. Right. The difference that you will hear from Dave Fritz Coaching is that we don't have money as the sole object of what we do here. We have the service and people. We put you first above everything else because we know when you're happy and everything's going well, the money will follow us. Right. We don't have to follow the money. 
money. That's you will always hear that here, guys, yeah. and we really mean it. Yeah, no, that's really great. It's almost like when you're out there and you you are putting out there um, what your values are. Mm -hmm. It just it's almost like the law of nature. God, you you, you attract back. To, mm -hmm. you, you get attracted back to you the the money and the, and the success. Right. And so that that's why I say the money and the success are secondary compared to that's great. the value yeah. of people and the, and pushing a great product. I mean, mm -hmm. I. It took me a long time to be dragged into this business, but I did my testing. Mm -hmm. I was the number one tester of this product, and when I saw and see what it does, mm -hmm. I'm in. I'm in. So you believe in your product so much, that's what makes the job easy, Absolutely. right? Because, guys, if you believe in what you're doing, that's half the battle. Oh, yeah. Because when you don't believe in somebody's product or you don't believe in what you're selling, you're not going to be successful at it, guys. You have to believe in what you're doing. Right. Now, as we close today, guys, I'm going to ask Kathy one more question. And I'm basically going to ask you, Kathy, um, for our audience out here, is there any kind of advice that maybe some kind of a tip that you can give our audience, you know, in being successful at whatever company they're trying to run or whatever vision they have in the future? Is there something you could possibly give our audience? Well, vision is, is number one. If you don't have a vision for what mm -hmm. you're doing, you'll, you'll just never get anywhere. You'll right. stay stuck. So you have to have the vision of what it is and where you want to go with it. And I know that for what we have, I mean, right now, our, my vision is, and, and I think it's beginning to happen, we're starting to meet with certain people, we are going to be into the pre-stain lumber industry. Mm -hmm. Because, well, I mean, you have composite decking, you have mm. pressure-treated lumber, and you don't have anything in the middle. There so are one time is going to be leading the way in all these new exactly. technologies. And I believe we will be leading the way because Great. it's going to be a pre-stain lumber where you, you could buy a deck kit for yourself, wow. put it together, it's already stained. It's already stained and yeah. everything. That's a great idea. So um, that is that is the number one thing. Stick with your vision. Mm -hmm. Stick with what it is. You know, you know, don't, um, I heard somebody say, don't go after the shiny objects. That's all of a sudden you see something over here that, oh, maybe that looks like a good way to make yeah. money. And it has nothing to do with your industry. Right. Don't go to the shiny objects. Yeah. Stick with what you know. That's good. Keep Very your vision good focused and keep going with it. And I yeah. always say, and this is another philosophy in life, never look back. You know, yeah. we'll all make mistakes, but guess what? We learn from our mistakes. So don't look back and lament, keep moving forward. Mm -hmm. That was great. Mm -hmm. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this session as much as I did. Kathy, I really want to thank you for coming on Dave Fritz TV sure, today. You. And um, they're wonderful clients. I, I couldn't have a better client here. They're easy to work with. Uh, last year, their sales were up quite a bit, and uh, our goal is to just keep you going up yep. and in a forward motion. Yes. And guys, one thing I want to tell you before we close here today is Kathy's story isn't one that's just the only one out there. You can be a, a success, yeah. too, by putting these things that we talk about on the show into your life, implementing them into your life. So if you want to be a success, stick here to Dave Fritz TV, and we're going to teach you, and we're going to give you a lot of value here, guys. And... Um, I just want to stress that this can be you guys. You can be a success story too. Remember, just like Kathy said, there's going to be ups and downs, but you know what? You can do it. Guys, it's been a great session here today. I look forward to seeing you later this week. And as we always say here, a hooey ho till we meet again. And God bless the wonderful USA. Amen. Signing out.